Hi, this is Dr. Liu again. Um, this time I'm demonstrating this. It is the Open Source Physics Laboratory Data Acquisition System. Uh, we originally started this to, uh, to basically to, uh, to make a solution to these problems. Uh, old vernier sensors that uh, we, we can't really plug into the new interfaces. You know, even if we do, and these sensors don't really have any uh, auto-identification, so it's really hard to use. Um, and uh, this one will solve the problem because this one has the, uh, the connectors. So let's see how to set this up to give a quick demonstration. I have two uh, sensors, a force gauge with two different ranges, and also I have a temperature probe. So let's get started. First we want to uh, plug in the power supply to the wall. and simply plug in the power supply to the, uh, the power barrel on the side of this uh, system. So plug it in, start displaying, and uh, we can start hooking up the sensors. So first I want to put the, uh, this sensor for example on channel 0, channels that actually start from 0. Uh, I'll put some markers on this so you know which one is channel 0. And I'll put this other one on channel 1. It doesn't really matter, you can select what's connected to each channel. Okay, so now I connected the two uh, probes to the channels. Let's bring this over. Okay, so we can see the two plugs and um, the screen is actually just, just waiting for the, uh, the user. You can press any button. So it says select sensor for channel zero and uh, you can select sensors from this list up and down you can see there's actually a near sensor, Pasco sensor, which uh, it hasn't really become compatible with yet, and some sensor I, I want to design myself, or no sensor. So um, channel zero actually is hooked up to the uh, the temperature probe. So we'll select near and um, push select, and here's a list of uh, probes. The right temperature would be the correct one, but we can go down and see what else is there force sensor, voltage sensor, pressure, um, two range, four sensor, 50 newton range, two range, four sensor, 10 newton range. So, okay, apparently the direct temperature. Uh, I push the select button. Now it's a prompting for channel one, that's the second channel. Well, I still have a vernier sensor on it, so I can just select. And there's not a direct temperature sensor anymore. So I need to go down to uh, two range, four sensor, uh, 10 newtons. And um, I can also select 50 newton range. Since this little thing here, uh, the switch, it doesn't have any way to indicate that which uh, range is on. You have to manually select the correct range in order to read the right, uh, right force. So let's do the 50 range, since we're actually on 50, plus minus 50 newtons. Okay, so now I can just push select. And channel two here is not connected to anything. So I'll just scroll down to indicate no sensor and press select. And channel three, um, the fourth channel is also not connected to anything. We would be expanding the channel three to basically these two uh, photo, gauge, uh, photo gates or maybe one set of uh, um, Pasco um, Sonic Ranger with the, uh, the quarter inch jacks. But that's, a, that's in the future. So we'll say that channel, uh, not Pasco, the channel uh, three, the last channel, doesn't have a sensor either. Just since, just then select. So just to basically recap what channels and what sensors. After that, it'll start displaying the uh, numbers. Okay, so the uh, temperature is 72-ish uh, uh, Fahrenheit. If I just warm up the sensor a little bit, you can see the um, response. Okay, let's cool it off a little bit. And also the force is 1.1 Newton because the, uh, the force gauge is not really level. If you actually have it like this, vertical, and um, this one is close to zero Newtons, uh, have in mind the entire, the full range is 50 Newtons. And you can pull on the hook if you want, I'll just press it down instead. It gives us negative uh, forces. So minus 15, minus 16-ish. 
And that's a fairly quick demonstration. And if you have other old um, Pascal sensor, you can also use them. But I haven't really put the uh, the, the parameters A and B parameter into the uh, um, this this little box yet. But that's that's pretty easily done. Um, so uh, thanks for watching.